Pakistani terrorists aren't the only people the American president is calling out. He's taken on the media in his country like no president before him has. Donald Trump's much-awaited fake news awards was released today. In typical fashion, the U.S. president took to Twitter to announce the winners. The president tweeted a link to GOP.com for the full list, of, but the site crashed soon after and said it was temporarily offline. CNN was mentioned at least four times in that list, and that's the highest number of honors for one media house. CNN had reported that the Trump campaign had early access to hacked documents from WikiLeaks. The New York Times bagged the top award, while Trump forced Time and the Washington Post were also notable winners. The New York Times' Paul Krugman led the awards, winning first place for his 2016 prediction that the stock markets would never recover from Trump's win over Democrat Hillary Clinton. ABC News' Brian Ross's bungled report on former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn won him the second spot. Newsweek report that Polish First Lady Agata Kornhauser Duda did not shake Trump's hand, also made it to that list. Time report that Trump removed a bust of Martin Luther King Jr. from the Oval Office earned it a place on the podium. The Washington Post's Day Weagle tweeting that Trump's December rally in Florida was not packed with supporters also got him a spot on the list. And immediately after announcing the fake news awards, Trump took to Twitter to hit out at the media. He said, and I'm quoting, despite some very corrupt and dishonest media coverage, there are many great reporters I respect and lots of good news for the American people to be proud of. ISIS is in retreat. Our economy is booming. Investments and jobs are pouring back into the country and so much more. Together, there's nothing we cannot overcome, even a very biased media. We're making America great again. The president, who repeatedly criticized the press, calling it, quote-unquote, the enemy of the people, often uses the term fake news to cast doubt on reports critical of him, or his administration. The term fake news, in fact, was originally coined to describe false reports often spread through social media and sometimes aimed at supporting or hurting a political figure. Trump has made it one of the most popular terms of the last year at least.